right, friends, you know her from such things as the Pom Pom Thief, the Lisa Robot 3000, and the Lisa's Inner Monologue Show. But did you know she's also a chef? That's right, so let's hear it for the hostess with the mostess, the queen of the kitchen. Let's get cooking with Miss Elisa! Oh, hi, and welcome back to my kitchen. You can see that I have my mixer out today and you know what that means. We're gonna be baking! Today, we are going to bake Sally's world famous chocolate chip banana bread. It's so delicious. Do you know why we're making a uh, banana bread today? It's because we're talking about the fruit of the spirit, patience. And when you bake, you have to wait. So we're gonna make it together. What do we need first for banana bread? That's right, bananas. Oh, look at these bananas. I know, they don't look delicious, do they? But that's the perfect thing for banana bread. They're all brown and sweet and gooey, and that means it's time to bake them. All right, the second thing we need for banana bread is flour. Most every time you make bread, you need a flour. So we got some good flour in there. Remember, the first step to cooking is we have to gather all the ingredients, and that's what we're doing right now. So let's keep on going. We need to add into our flour. We're going to put baking soda. That makes it rise up. And we need some salt because we need salt in every every recipe because it makes the flavors come out. Even in sweet recipes, we have a little salt. What else do we need? <gasps> Eggs, of course. Butter, because butter makes baked things delicious. <gasps> we need, this is kind of a secret ingredient, but it takes Yogurt, isn't that amazing? It's kind of a secret ingredient. <gasps> what do we need to make sweet things sweet? Sugar, and this is brown sugar. It's so delicious. Let's see, put it right there. And then, oh, two flavor ingredients. We have vanilla and cinnamon. And our last, most important ingredient. What did we say this was? Chocolate chip banana bread, we need chocolate chips. Let me just make sure those chocolate chips taste okay. Perfect. Okay, we have prepared our ingredients just like God has prepared everything for us because he created us and he loves us. So I'm gonna get these ingredients measured and the banana squashed up and you're gonna go worship and I'll see you back here to follow our recipe in just a few minutes.
Last week was smooth sailing with a fabulous fruit smoothie, but now it's time to make a very appealing banana bread. First, Miss Elisa mushes up the bananas so they're nice and lumpy. Then she gets the brown sugar and butter ready to mix together for the batter. And she weighs out her yogurt, adding in some vanilla extract to give it that special something. And now she weighs out the most important ingredient, chocolate chips. Now that we're prepared, let's crack on with the bake. Get it? Because we crack the eggs? Oh well, at least the grown-ups are laughing. And we're good! All right, my oven is hot, my pan is ready, and we're ready to follow the steps of the recipe. We're gonna follow them just right so that we can make Sally's world famous chocolate chip banana bread. You know what? Following the recipe is just like following Jesus. God sent Jesus to show us the way God designed for us to live. And so we get to read his stories and follow his way to make something beautiful in our lives, just like we're gonna make something delicious in our banana bread. All right, are you ready to follow the recipe? Awesome! So first, we, we mixed the butter and the sugar together until it was light and fluffy. It's called creaming them together. So that's already good. And now we mix in our eggs. So I'm gonna mix in two eggs and turn our mixer back on until they're all good and gooey in there. Getting good. All right, now we're gonna add our secret ingredient yogurt and our vanilla into the mixer. Whoop. Awesome. I love vanilla. It's so delicious. Vanilla ice cream is my favorite. Okay, good. Oh, gotta get all those little bits out. Did I get them? Okay. Now, before we do anything else, I'm gonna scrape down the bowl of the mixer so we make sure all the ingredients are mixing together. We wouldn't wanna leave anything out on the sides. Scrape it down. Good, look at that. It's getting all mixed together. Yummy. Okay, and then we're gonna turn it back on. Now we need the very important part of our banana bread. Bananas! I mixed them all up, look at that. They're all mushy and gooey and syrupy. We're gonna put them in really carefully, ready? Good. Okay, make sure those bananas are all mixied in there. Okay, whoop, drippies, that's okay. Baking is messy. All right, so the last ingredient, well not the last, the second to the last ingredient is all of our flour and our baking soda, cinnamon and salt. And we're gonna, put, we're gonna turn the mixer down. So it's just on low. We're gonna shake it in there. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, shake, shake. Oop, I'm getting a little bit out. That's okay, remember, baking's messy. Shake, shake, shake. Good, okay. We're gonna make sure, we're gonna scrape it down one more time. Good. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Okay. And remember, we're waiting and we're doing everything just right, just like we're working on patience today. Patience is one of the ways Jesus shows us how to live. So we're mixing it just right and we're waiting to put in the most special, amazing part, our chocolate chips. Okay, are you ready? Sprinkle them in. Make sure they get all in there. One, one, we want one chocolate chip in every bite, right? That's right. And then, that's it. We got our batter for our banana bread. And now, whoa, whoops, <laughs> we, we got it, <laughs> it's okay. And we're gonna take our pan or our bowl and then we're gonna put the batter in our pan, just like this. Oh, look at that. Oh, make fill it up. And then we've got our banana bread. And now all we have to do left is bake it. I'm gonna pop it in the oven. You're gonna go hear God's big story and I'll meet you back here to taste it afterwards. We are about to witness one of the great phenomena of the natural world. The number you have reached is not in service. Clear with the closing doors, please. One, zero, lift off. 
man. Whoo! I love summer. I love it. All the pool parties, catching the fireflies, running through the sprinkler. Oh, and my favorite. It... How did it know? I love ice cream! <laughs> Good thing I have this bag of coins with me at all times when that sweet, sweet music plays. Here I come, ice cream! <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, John, thank goodness. No, hey, I, can you give me a hand with these? I got, okay, 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 hold on, hold on. So okay, yeah, yeah. I, I just got a few more. Okay, uh, what? No, and no, I, I'm more. trying to... Okay, okay. All right, here we go. No, no, Brandon, thank Brandon, you. these are small. I really appreciate it. What? That. Come on, come on. All right, Brandon, Brandon. Okay. Here we go. This one. I just have one more. Okay, okay. Where's my coins? Okay. Have you been playing that music the whole time? Yeah, I love this song. Makes me think of ice cream for some reason. This might be the sweatiest I've ever been without exercising. Yeah, me too. Of course, I never sweat when I exercise, so. I think you're doing it wrong. How? Oh. Hey everybody, I'm Brandon. Oh yeah, and I'm John, and uh, you're watching the So-and-So Show. In case you didn't notice, it's really hot today. Yeah, yeah, heat waves are no joke. Especially when the AC breaks. And you're waiting on the repair person. And they're taking forever. And you feel like you're swimming in your own sweat. <laughs> sweat. It's fine. All right, no, it's fine. We can, we can do this. Okay. We can be patient. We can be patient. Okay. <sighs> okay, we can't just sit here. We gotta do something. Why not? Okay, let's, uh, mm -hmm. I know, let's 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 play Heat Wave Hysteria. Yeah. Our first round is a game I like to call Sweat Fast. The person to fill their cup with the most sweat in 15 seconds is the winner. That's gross. I know. Let's go. Right. Go, 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 go. Ugh. Oh. oh, that was fun. Uh, cheers. No! Oh, yes, thank you. Uh, no! Let's skip on over to round two, shall we? Okay, time to cool off with a freezer pop eating contest. Yes, yes! <laughs> um. Wait, 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 these freezer props, they need more time to freeze. Man, they must have melted in the heat wave. Oh. You wanna cancel the eating contest? No, 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 no. First one to finish eight wins. On your mark, get set, go. Ice water, please don't try this at home, kids. We are adults who should know better. Okay, we'll each have a turn in the pool of ice. 
Mm -hmm. The person who stays in the longest is the winner. Uh, John, you're up first. Sweet. <laughs> okay. So excited not to be hot anymore. Whoa! <laughs> this is cool. All right, timer this starts. Cool. The timer starts once you're laying down okay. in the cubes. Okay, here we go. Ah! Ah! It's like, go! Go! Ah! Ah! It's so cold. There you go. What is it? Okay. Ah! Ah! <laughs> six, it's six seconds. Six! Yeah. Give me that! It's not so bad. <gasps> oh. Okay, I, I've been dreaming about being cold okay. again for so long. Okay. It's hard to believe it's actually going to happen. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> this is amazing. How it's are like you? It's like a summer heat rate. I can make my own weights. How are you? I'm freezing. <laughs> Are you this is crazy! Me? This is perfect! Uh, uh, I think you warmed it up for me. I, I think I did warm it up for you. You know what? Stay right there! Uh, uh, Maybe this will help! Uh, uh, now it's perfect! Uh, uh, it's the Bible start! Time with cacao! guys. Oh, hey, Kellen. You doing okay? Yeah, our AC broke down, and the repair person is taking a really long time to get here. During this heat wave? Yeah, we even changed clothes, and we're already sweating through them. <sighs> that is unfortunate. Well, maybe I can help. You know how to fix an air conditioner? No, but I have a great Bible verse for us to learn from today. It's in the book of Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 18. And it goes like this. A person with a bad temper stirs up conflict, but a person who is patient calms things down. It can be hard to have patience, but patience is important and powerful. So it's worth the work. Let's go over to our friends Becky and Bethilda to see what I mean. Looks like it's almost time for dinner. And it sounds like Becky and Bethilda are both pretty hungry. So hungry. Need food. Wow, that food smells so good. I'm really hungry. Let's see what they do while they're waiting for dinner to be ready. Mom? Why is dinner taking so long? Can't you see I'm starving over here? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Ah! Why is dinner still not ready yet? <laughs> yeah, being patient could have definitely helped out Bethilda. Let's see how Becky's doing. I'm so hungry. I wonder what's for dinner. It sure is taking all the time. Mom! Do you want some help? Yes, that would be wonderful. Okay, I'm coming. Both girls were really hungry, but Becky was more patient. And her patience helped her think of someone else's needs and not just her own. When you're patient, it doesn't just affect you. It affects everyone around you. Let's take a look at another day in the lives of Becky and Bethilda. This time, they're both waiting for a package to be delivered to the house. Now keep in mind, their packages are already one day late. My phone's supposed to notify me when my package arrives. It says it was shipped out five days ago. But why isn't it here yet? Still not here. Still not here. <sighs> still not here, still not here, still not here! Oh, I'll go check the mailbox. Maybe it's in there. Oops. 
Whoa, that was intense. Definitely a lot like the first part of the verse from Proverbs. A person with a bad temper stirs up conflict. Now, let's take a look at how Becky handles having to wait. Ugh, still not here. Still not here. Oh, still not here. Okay, no, no. I just gotta get my mind off of things, okay? Getting impatient, it's not gonna get the package here faster. No, I'm gonna go play a game on the computer. That'll make the time go faster and it'll get my mind off of things. Oh, plus it'll be super fun. Okay. That was a very different response. Even though Becky was upset at first, she was able to be patient and not lose her cool. She calmed things down. Now, let's take a look at our verse one more time. A person with a bad temper stirs up conflict, but a person who is patient calms things down. Do you agree, fellas? Wow, that is so true. Yeah, those two certainly did handle things differently. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to handle things like Bethelda. I mean, yelling and complaining and breaking things, that was almost embarrassing to watch. Oh, come on, we've totally been that impatient before. Oh, you're right, you're right. But today wasn't so bad. We, we found some ways to distract ourselves from the heat, and we had fun while we waited. Yeah, that's true, it's true. That's great, guys. Way to go. It can be hard to be patient, but the good news is, when you believe in Jesus, the Holy Spirit is always with you and can help you have patience. Hey, thank goodness for that. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kellen. You got it. Later, guys. Wow. Patience really is important. I'm almost glad the, the repair person hasn't shown up yet so we could practice our patience. Yeah. Oh, it does smell, though. Look, uh -huh. look, look. look. Uh-huh. Reveal the question! Oh, hey, what can you do when you're feeling impatient? Uh, perhaps you could distract yourself by playing games. Yeah, yeah, or like Becky did, you could, you could think about how you could help someone else. Or, you know, just put yourself in another person's shoes. Uh, a lot of times it helps me be patient with someone if I realize how hard what they're doing must be. So what can you do when you're feeling impatient? Mm -hmm. You know, think on it. Talk to someone about it, and we'll see you next time. I'm John. I'm Brandon, and I owe you one of these. Oh, lovely. What is it? Oh, ice! <laughs> so, 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 oh, that's the so-and-so show. Worth the wait! Oh, yeah! Ooh. Are you a little cold now? Oh, yeah! You wanna turn the AC down? No, no! Ugh. You wanna put our coats on? Oh, yeah! Uh, that's more like it. Ah, uh, yeah. You feel that? I am just mashing some bananas up for Miss Elisa's banana bread. Mm. I've got some bananas in here already, and I'm just mashing them up real nice. And speaking of fruit, let's remember our memory verse. The fruit the Holy Spirit produces is love, joy, and peace. It is being patient, kind, and good. It is being faithful and gentle and having control of one's self. Galatians 5, 22 to 23. <laughs> Good job. Back to you, Miss Elisa. Thank you, Maylisa, for helping us with our memory verse again. And good job, guys, working on that memory verse all month long. You've done such a great job. <gasps> you hear that? That means our banana bread is ready. I feel like I've been waiting forever. All right, let's get it out of the oven. Ooh, it looks so good. Look at that. It's golden brown and it smells so good. I just wanna dig in, but you know what? 
we have to wait a little bit longer because it has to cool down. So while we're cooling down, let's talk about patience and the Holy Spirit. Patience sometimes requires waiting. And do you know what? You can ask the Holy Spirit for help while you wait. The Holy Spirit can help give you creative ideas of things you can do while you wait. Maybe something fun or something helpful. The Holy Spirit is there to help you. Remember, like we're gonna enjoy this banana bread in just a few minutes. The Holy Spirit helps us to enjoy life by living in God's way and producing the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit we're talking about this week is patience. Guys, so you don't have to do any of this alone. The Holy Spirit is there to help. So let's ask him for help waiting to eat this banana bread and all, uh, help all week, okay? Let's pray. God, thank you so much for sending us the Holy Spirit that is your presence with us and that helps us live the life that you've designed for us to live. Thank you that the Holy Spirit gives us patience to wait and to be creative and helpful and, um, and to do good things while we might be needing to be patient. God, I pray that you would bless my friends with patience this week, that you would bless them to remember that the Holy Spirit is with them and that ultimately they would just sit and remember that you love them no matter whether they're waiting or they're doing. God, we love you so much. We thank you so much for everything you do for us and your love. Bless this banana bread. Bless my friends. And um, I pray that you would give us a great week. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, friends. I think it's cool enough. Let's turn it out. Okay, we've got to take it out of the pan. Boop. There it is. Oh, I got to flip it over. <laughs> it's a little warm. That's okay. Okay, and we're gonna cut it. Now remember, whenever we're working with heat on the oven or on the stove or using a sharp knife, you have to ask a grown-up for help. Um, all right, let's cut it. <gasps> Look at that, it's got chocolate pieces. Ooh, it looks so, 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 so good. Okay, let's taste it. Mmm, <gasps> it's banana-y, chocolatey goodness. Mmm, it's so good. I hope you make some banana bread this week. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see you next week.